Well, <laughs> well hello there, YouTube. It's, uh, it's definitely raining today. <laughs> Sashi Annie. <laughs> this is where they come and hang out. This is like, you can tell this is where they hang out. Sparky's got his little bone collection, bone and toy collection. Madison loves her hay bales. Danny, he just hangs out where everybody else does. Woke up this morning to it pounding like this. So, I don't know what it's supposed to be like the rest of the day, but if it's rain, it's rain. The uh, Pacific Northwest is right on cue. It's always uh, a couple of days after Halloween, and that's when winter starts, even though it's still fall. All right, I think it's gonna rain this morning, Mama. <laughs> they said something about rain. You never know about them guys. Yeah, it started out so pretty. Yeah, Kelly took some uh, beautiful sunset pictures. Gorgeous, first thing this morning. Warmed up quite a bit from last night. Yeah, it's still 36 in the morning. Was it? Mm -hmm. Funny how you see mostly trucks out here and when you're out in the small towns, everybody's got a pickup truck. Yeah, pickup trucks are great, I love trucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, woman. Yes, no, man. That was less than a pleasant drive to work. I know, that was very, very wet. Yeah, I don't miss them white out crazy drives in the puddling freeways no, that's not like driving an automobile across the lake yeah <laughs> all right you have yourself a wonderful tuesday right yeah yep. all right try to stay dry all right <laughs> all right bye bye now bye -bye. of all the bmws we're getting this year this is the one i've been anticipating the most hang tight The GS Adventure, 40 year anniversary. It's got them gum comfort seats on it though. Them things are so hideously uncomfortable. With the 719 valve covers, cool stick covers a bit of little aluminum looking at the VIN inquiry all the all the boxes were checked she's got everything mm. but unfortunately I've already asked and they don't know how many this could be the one and only they just don't know so initially no she cannot be the demo Can't argue with that logic. Somebody's gonna want this thing and want it bad, so I'd end up having to turn it in. It'd have miles on it, so you'd have to discount it. I don't think they're interested in that. But who knows? It could change. These things might be readily available. The other thing is that I noticed with the other one too, it has a chrome exhaust. I like the stainless exhaust. It looks cool and it smells phenomenal as it's breaking in. Alright, let's get her out of the rain here and clean up my crate mess and we'll move on. Not for a moment has it stopped raining out there today. I had to do a bulletin for repair on that 2020 GS, so I haven't even laid a hand on this yet. Other than getting it out of the rain, there's the bags and boxes of stuff the uh, r18 that box there i don't know if i even mentioned you guys the other crate was an r18 and as far as i know this one's um i don't think it's called for this one might be wide open this is the first edition so it has all the bells and whistles everything you want but i don't know for sure that it's not called for um, if it was, somebody would be down here cracking a whip going, Hey, so-and-so's bike is going to be here. Man, does that GSA 
40 years edition look good. Man, really good. Mm. My two absolute favorite BMWs. 1250 GSA and an R18. If you had them two bikes, you'd be covered for life. And that's fancy little whiz bang headlight. That's weird how the how those two just kind of float in there. That's really cool. This is the last people that touched this. And them fingerprints was from Munich, Germany. Wherever in the plant they uh, they put them in the box, and then the, the dust all over it is the uh, is the crating area. I can imagine they're probably you know putting these things in crates, and there's probably dust in the air, and just the dust of you know assembling the crate around the motorcycle. You know, if this one even has the little bumper guards on the billet option 719 valve cover, it's just not yellow like it was on that GS. That's really nice. Wish it had the stainless headers though. This is actually, the chrome is actually an upgrade, believe it or not. That is an upgraded option. But I'm pretty sure this is one that was just sent to us because I don't still, we, I don't think we can order any of the 21s at this point. That's the last I heard anyway. That was last week. The dead gum of all things, they put that comfort seat. Now this, in all fairness, is the tall, the tall seat. That's not a comfort. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's definitely. Look how tall that thing is. I'd have to grow another couple inches to ride that thing around. I pulled it up in air, doing the Vin Inquiry and stuff like that, and it showed it with the mono, uh, kind of the rally seat, you know, with the yellow in the front. Yeah, Kevin, I was all excited, and there's like trap doors. The uh, owner had me sign these things off from the truck delivery guy. His son unloaded them, and they were, him and his son were in a, biz, in a hurry to get to somewhere, and he goes, smoke, sign off for those things. So I'm making sure there's no crate damage or anything like that. Not signing my name to anything like that, <laughs> but made sure everything was cool. So anyway, I cracked the doors open, looked in. Um, there's doors on the crate, so you can look in. There's no uh, no damage, and I looked up and I said, "Oh no, it's the regular touring seat. What is going on here?" Adam must be doing some diagnosing or something. It's weird the. Uh, bottom half of that switch. I feel wires dangling under my fingers. Anyway, I'm gonna bounce. All right, so I got it up here and um, flipped the seat because always the standard suspension always comes with the seat set on high. I set it to low, set on it. It's definitely a taller seat, but it's not a comfort seat. It's, it's a normal one. And I think the comfort seat one has the little divots that go across that we have any of them in here. Any of these? Any comfort seats in there? Hey, any of guys comfort seats? <laughs> nope. But they have like little air pockets in them, so it feels like a normal seat, just tall, like it has extra foam. I mean, look at the back seat on that thing. Look how thick that sucker is. So it feels nice and firm and very kind of feels like a proper seat. <laughs> She's definitely tall though. I, I don't know where BMW leaves the suspension when they ship them here, but she's a tall boy. But it feels really good. Actually, feels wider. Maybe they just changed the seats for 2021. I don't know. But anyway, it's all good. Let's get this bad boy together. She's just too pretty to just be sitting there in pieces. <laughs> I stand here with the, with the camera in my hand, just oodling over this thing. Oh, I love that arrangement those yellow yellow and black mm, that just looks so good all right you guys want to ride up the hill with me on this gs Whee! hey it's not even sprinkling at the moment oh there's a very light mist this is what i love is the anti-stall look how steep of a hill There's our big test ride for the day. <laughs> I 
I like those silver, the silver uh, frame and swing arm and engine. I always call these the gentleman's GS. It's nice to see the silver every once in a while. See, that's what the seats are normally like. Way cool. So I missed out. <laughs> they uh, got all the batteries done after I left yesterday and brought them all up. I think there's a couple more floating around somewhere. I know there's three of these. I like these. I forget what the model is they call it, but I really like that. And uh, one of the other guys were saying he likes it too. It'd be great for a commuter. I don't think I'd be laying those against the disc down there though. And these are are cool as well. I showed you these both. Did I show you this? Yeah, I did. That's cool. That one's called the Wabash. They say that's one of their most popular non-mountain um, um, bike versions. That's what I was telling you yesterday. It kind of has like the street bars, but yet it has <laughs> pretty much just aggressive tires on it. But it's kind of like a dual sport. They are cool. Genuine Yamahas. I remember back in the 70s when Yamaha made the, the MX bike with suspension cool stuff don't know why but it is freakishly quiet here in Walmart I found a spot that the music's not blaring I can turn the camera on I used to come in here record all the time but now the music just so loud you can't use it all right oh screaming kids yeah so <laughs> we're checking out the little woman had herself a crash oh, we got her little candy bar and little juice and snapped her back out she goes oh we need to make this fast yeah yeah Talking. we made it to the to the outside the door had to stop makes her rattles her apart <laughs> it's weird how it sneaks up on you so quick i know you just start getting shaky and then it and that's the one time that look at her she's just wearing a sweatshirt she's shagged her coat and everything oh. <laughs> so one time she's hot. Oh yeah. Look at Walmart's with their little Chris or Christmas Next lights. Thing. Just just a hint of them so far. God, it's fantastic out here right now. I don't know what the temperature is. She actually likes the cold wind. Yeah, it's like, come on. I'm, I'm saying welcome to my world. I love that nice cool weather. Well, let's roll out, Mama. Y'all better there, little woman. Yeah, watch this gentleman here. You got a BMW. Oh, he's gonna let me go. That's awfully nice, that gentleman. Kind gentleman. There's a dude going through the parking lot. Kelly goes, What in the world are those lights? You ever seen the ATV flags that light up and you change the colors on them? He had dual flags on the back of his big up truck. It was going, Heck yeah, USA. Yes, and a USA flag. Yeah. We have no idea who's what. As far as the presidency, I was waiting for Kelly. She run a little late, and uh, the news is oddly void of it. Yeah. Of course, we're on the yeah. West Coast, so yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll know by the time we get home. Yeah. No. Well, Doesn't look like there's any theatrics involved. That's good. That's good. Let's keep America proud. Yeah, America. America. Let's America. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello there, you two. So, good. We left Woodland Sand in that parking lot. It was nice, nice breeze. Yeah. I don't know, was it Kalama or Kelso? Somewhere in there, the rain oh. started and it progressively got, got wor worse. Although, if you look out there, it doesn't look like it's pouring down right now. Yeah, knock on wood. At least we can get groceries in and, and get, get the girls. And not get totally soaked. Yeah. And we got one of those uh, tractor supply. We got the best umbrellas. They're like 10 bucks or something. Yeah. Really good umbrella. Kelly left it at work. I think I've got sorry. another one in the trunk of the yeah. car there, but I don't, that's a, that little overhang in, the, in here is 10. I don't hear it pounding out there, so. Yeah, so I think we'll, we'll be safe. Moment of peace. <laughs> yes. 
So, yeah, that's got plenty. I had stuff to do today. It was nice as all BMW stuff. Getting that done. Oh, that GSA 40 Years Edition. That thing. Talking about something that makes me go. <laughs> go nuts. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, it's very pretty. It would be nice if it's all together and clean. Oh, yellow grips. Mm -hmm. I thought I had a comfort seat on there. And it, I thought that's part of the comfort package. It's like unusually thick. Is so that? is the back seat. Ooh. You'd be comfortable on that. It literally looks like the back seat of that Mustang on the back of the Road King. Really? It's like unusually huge. Oh, uh -huh. cool. But I got it up on the rack and I sat on it. I go, wait a minute, that's not the regular. The regular comfort seats have that. It's almost like little air holes in them, you know. I, mm -hmm. I, I was going to go upstairs and uh, film that for you guys so you could see what a what I'm talking about and that's like it's got this like thick pillow top on it yeah. she hated it I hated it that was that a uh, low chassis that we had for a little bit there but mm -hmm. um, that was not it's the regular seat it's just got a lot of padding in it feels nice and firm and wide and almost almost feels like you're sitting on a Mustang that was pretty cool be interesting to ride that and see how it feels it feels kind of unusually wide for an adventure bike but who knows if it works it'd be great yeah Anyway, we got frozen bulls back there. We need to roll. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. I about choked in my own words. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> yeah. I'll crash at Walmart's and can't speak once I you got know. home. I'm just a basket case, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in the morning. Guys, take care. Hopefully the weather's a little better tomorrow. Yes, hope so. Not, that's just that day. Yep. All right. See you then. Bye. Thanks now. Bye bye.